Hey guys, how you doing? So are we gonna see the end of C++? Are the nerd claws coming in to destroy C++? Um, that's a little bit hyperbolic, but I think actually, yeah, I think we're gonna see the slow decline of C++ implementations, usage, in the market for a variety of reasons. And we're seeing all kinds of indicators. Number one, we've seen Microsoft and we've seen Google announce that they're going to be rewriting core libraries within their ecosystem uh, with Rust uh, and other languages to replace the C++ base um, for security issues, uh, for maintainability issues. We're also seeing uh, other languages besides Rust uh, coming into the fray to replace uh, C++. I think Go is being implemented more. I'm not sure about the Go, but definitely Rust. And now uh, I'm recording this in June 2024 at the WWDC, the Worldwide Developer Conference. Apple, they just released uh, an early release of a version of their Swift programming language, which is a, a stripped down subset of Swift specifically designed for embedded systems so you can download some alpha or beta code and you can start implementing that and the apple is arguing that you should use swift instead of c++ you're going to get uh, you're going to get all the advantages of, of a light nimble language like swift and all the protections that it has uh, and still have tremendous speed if you don't know uh, swift is highly highly performant uh, in terms of runtime performance and uh, even IBM actually had a project, I forget what it's called now, but a few years back, they were more than a few years, they were implementing Swift on the server, and it was as fast as C++ code, nearly as fast. And the big advantage is Swift has is, has all these protections in place, memory, memory safe, it's a memory safe language, blah, 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 it's fast to develop in, doesn't have the legacy um, dirty laundry that you see in the C++ world. So yeah, C++ is not going anywhere anytime soon. It's not like everybody's going to drop C++ today. But you definitely see the writing is on the wall. You see more and more uh, companies, Apple, Google, go? Microsoft, they're all looking at uh, replacing Swift, excuse me, replacing C++ with uh, some other language, whether it be Rust, whether it be Swift, etc so yeah it's um it's the beginning of the slow decline in c++ if you're a c++ programmer you have any experience you know this is not a big deal you know that you could pivot to one language to another pretty easily especially if you know c++ and if you're learning c++ as i tell you there's no wrong language to learn there's no wrong language to learn because if you learn c++ you know, like if you learn JavaScript, like if you learn uh, PHP, like if you learn Java or C Sharp, it's 80, 90 percent of what you learn in C++ is applicable to all these other languages and vice versa. It's no big deal. The only language I strongly suggest you avoid is Ruby, of course. Hey, I'm Uncle Steph. And uh, I train people to become pro developers, to think like pro developers. Uh, yeah, I'm huge into looking at the market. You have to look at the market when you're making your choices in the dev development space. So you may love Flash ActionScript. That to you might be the best programming language ever p made, but if there's no v demand for it, who cares? So anyway, um, again, you can't make a bad choice in terms of a programming language because, as I said, all the skills you learn in C++ or in Java or in PHP or JavaScript, they're all transferable to other languages. So it's like the hardest language to learn, of course, is the first. And every time you learn a new language, it gets really, really easy. And it's common for prof professional developers to pivot from language A to B to C to D, etc. All right, that's it. Hope you found this video useful. If you disagree with any of my comments, put them below. If you are a Ruby developer, I'm sorry for you. I'm just joking about the Ruby thing. 
And uh, that's about it. Cheers.